what is 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th? 2 to the 8th. How did you get that? Oh, you just added 3 and 5, right? So you don't have any problem doing that. No problems. Everybody gets that. But what, for some reason, it doesn't happen logically for people backwards. If I have 2 to the x plus 3, 2 to the 2x plus 3, this is the same as what? Go backwards. 2 to the 2x times what? 2 to the 3. If you can see that, these are going to be a piece of cake. By the way, what's 2 to the uh, x plus 1 the same as? 2 to the x times 2 to the first. Let me play a quick little game with you. Just a quick one here. 3 to the x plus 1. How many 3 to the x's is that? How many, how many 3 to the x's is this? Yes, it's 3, right? Because 3 times 3 to the x is 3, 3 to the x's. How about how many 4 to the x's is this? 16, right? How many uh, 5 to the... How many 5 to the x's is this? 1 fifth. Is this game getting easier? Try one more. How about um, 2 to the x plus 4? How many 2 to the x's is that? 16. So you get the idea that you're just taking 2 to the x times 2 to the constant, and that will tell you how many 2 to the x's there are. That's what I want you to think about. So now, when you look at this one, 2 to the 2x plus 3, let's play this game, how many 2 so the two x's are there. Eight. Two to the x plus one, how many two to the x's are there? Two. Good. So now I have eight two to the instead of two to the two x, I'm just going to call it two to the x squared. And then how many two to the x's is this thing? How many two to the x's is that? Two but it's times 7, right? And then plus 5. Right? Ugh, yeah. Ugh. Quadratic. So you have 8 2 to the x squared minus 14 2 to the x's plus 5 equals 0. Let's go with R for Ryan today. Is going to be R is equal to 2 to the x. We're going to replace 2 to the x with R. And now you can see very clearly this is a quadratic. We have 8R squared minus 14R plus 5 equals 0. Factor that because factoring gives us two factors that are equal to 0, which helps us solve. And I'm going to break this into 5 and 1. How about um, how about two and four? Will four r and two r will that work? Yeah. And then of course r isn't r; it's two to the x minus five equals zero. Two cases. Okay. And we, or we have 2 times 2 to the x minus 1 equals 0. So we're going to have 4, 2 to the x equals 5, 2 to the x equals 5 fourths. And this will be 2 to the x is equal to 1 half. Well, some people would really have a hard time solving for x here, but not you, because what are you going to do? Huh? Log base what? 2 of 5 fourths is equal to x. This one is easy because you could restate this as 2 to the negative 1 power. What's x? Negative 1. 
So your two answers for this are log base 2 of 5 fourths. You could get me a decimal if you wanted with that. And then this one is x is equal to negative 1. Any questions on problem number 1? Does that make sense? Let me tell you, yes. Could be. It's a good R3 right there. But I'm going to tell you this. That's the worst case scenario. It won't be worse than that one. That's as bad as I could get with solving for an exponent. Notice what I did is I changed these powers so that I could make this into a um, uh, quadratic. I solved it, set the two factors equal to zero, and solved for x. Kind of a big idea, but that's, that could be an R3, eh, maybe R4-ish. Yeah. All right. 